Felici, LVG Island, Rome, Italy. I'm training a lot for this fight, like every fight. Uh, I won for sure in the second round, to get home. Yeah, Daniel Scatizzi, they call him the Scat Man, and he is a tough, tough dude. Scatizzi. Scatizzi. Daniel Scatizzi, of course, training out of Ireland now with the SBG group, and uh, one of their top prospects on the rise here. And uh, man, he looks fantastic. He seems to have the whole package when it comes to striking, grappling, everything. He's going to be a force here in this division. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things from this team. They were telling us, well, uh, he's an explosive fighter, very tricky on the stand-up, you know, and he's also got a really good ground game. And he's taking on El Salawi and one of the most uh, popular fighters, one of the most hyped fighters in the Middle East. He predicts that he has a second round TKO coming in this one. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wow, let's, let's get our next it. combatant inside the cage. And let's welcome his opponent, into the cage, Gerard Al-Selawi! I'm Gerard Al-Selawi, King Zone Fighter in Amman. Alhamdulillah, the team is very nice and we're ready for the fight. I don't know what can happen in the fight. We're ready for 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 the fight. There he is, Gerard Al-Selawi fighting out of Kingdom Fighters. And uh, man, an extremely good kickboxer, great striking background. He's fought all throughout the Middle East, charismatic, a champion of multiple organizations. Al Salawi, you know, he's had a great debut here in Brave. Can he keep it rolling? Man, this is gonna be a good test for him. You know, uh, the last fight he, he took, um, he went out there and he actually submitted his opponent. And also he had submitted the last Viking. So let's see what happens in this fight. It's a big test in the international scene. 100% Kingdom Fighters, that great group out of Jordan, and he is one of their top fighters. We'll take a look at the tail of the tape right now. Both men, 23 is Katiji, 25. So a lot of these guys are just getting into their prime. Both men, 8 and 2. Does it get to be a better matchup than that? Let's go to our official introductions with Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout will be three five minute rounds in the welterweight division. Let's meet. Our first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of eight wins and two losses. He stands 178 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 77.2 kilograms. Representing SBG Ireland and fighting out of Rome, Italy. Give it up for Danielle Scott Scottizzi. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, spans a mixed martial artist with a record of eight wins and two losses. He stands 185 centimeters tall and weighs already 77.6 pounds, representing Kingdom Fighters and fighting out of Amman, Jordan. Give it up for the Jordanian Lion, Gerard al Your referee is Mark Goddard. Both men with the introductions, and you hear that outstanding ovation for the Jordanian Lion. Zara Al Salawi taking on Daniel Scatizzi, originally from Italy, now fighting out of Ireland. It's going to be Scatizzi in the yellow. In the black, it'll be Zara Al Salawi. The scat man has for. For the Jordanian Lion. You know, he, he got a few boos here from the audience in Abu Dhabi, but he ate it up and he absolutely oh. loved it. He loved probably, something he, probably something he learned from uh, his teammate, Conor McGregor. Whoa, we got a timeout. What happened? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Was there a mouthpiece here? What's going on here? Was ah, that? yeah, the stool. Yeah, that old stool. Yeah. Stool issue. There, what's happening here is Mark Gooder is telling, hey, guys, camera guys, move those stools out of the way because the fighter hits against that fence, they can get hurt on that stool. Absolutely. Right. That, that's why he's one of the best. He's one of the best in the business. That's right. Skatizi in the yellow, in the black, and the red. Al Salawi, and this is a matchup to watch, Ooh. folks. Big time. There's a reason why our matchmaking team put this one on the main card here. Ooh, that overhand right. He's trying to set up that takedown right out of the gate, and he gets it. Wow, Scatizzi, huh? It's getting right to work. 
Al-Zalawi trying to power his way back up already, but Skatizi very heavy on him. Jadal seems calm. He's like, okay, I got this. Very eager fighter here is Skatizi. Training out of SBG, training under John Kavanaugh. Both men extremely young in their career. Eight and two, 23 and 25. Man. Yeah, man, the scat man is moving. He's moving, he's changing positions, changing the, the, the body weights. And he's, he's, man, he's really the better fighter on the ground here. Well, you just gotta imagine some of the fighters he's training with on a regular basis there in Ireland. And, and no, no, you know, no disrespect, of course, to Kingdom Fighters. They have a fantastic team as well. But, you know, SBG has just turned into kind of the place to go. And all the big talent in Europe is headed that way. Yeah. Well, well here we are. Skatizi is showing it today. He is looking fantastic here in the early on. And that being said, you know, good defense from the bottom. Really not giving up too much is Girard. Yeah, girard has got a good ground game as well. I mean, his last fight, he won it by submission. Um, hopefully, we'll see something like that as well here. But Skatizi has got really good control. He's Draw's coaches were saying that we're going to see a totally different draw in this one. You know, Draw, he looked great in his last fight, but they feel like he can be more proficient uh, and get things done in a quicker fashion and this, kind of polishing off his game a bit more. Yeah, this is one of those prime uh, examples of, of what I like to see here with Brave Combat Federation, how they're bringing in fighters here from all over the world, uh, from different parts of the world. You don't see a Jordanian fighting an Italian, you know, it's not very, <laughs> not very often you see, you get to see that, you know, you get to see two different styles of mixed martial arts, you know, and they're being displayed here for everybody to see. So how many countries are we going to, Cyrus? 48. 48 countries. 48 countries, that's right. No pretty, big, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing for just four shows so far, huh? Yeah. Brave Unstoppable. That's the name of the event for good reason. Brave, indeed unstoppable. Of course, folks, our next event is going to be April 22nd, just a few weeks away in Mumbai, India. Nice hit there from the scat man. Scat man's done a great job of kind of staying on top right now. We haven't seen a whole lot of ground and pound or much damage. Yeah. But he has dominated Al Salawi just by staying on top. Uh, looks like Mark was like, hey, guys, get to work. And as soon as he said that, the scat man said, here you go. And gave him some good shots to the Jordanian Lion. Good strategy. Of course, when you're dealing with a guy that's such a proficient kickboxer like Al Salawi, you want to kind of get in his face, you want to smother him, and you want to kind of take that yeah. out of the equation. Yeah, I mean, you're fighting a striker here, a world-class striker. You want to definitely take him outside of his, of his comfort zone. And this, the Scats man doing just that. Good kicks there. Ooh, Jaraz got to be careful. He's going to get him getting too close with that. His hips come up. Those punches go straight down. And Skatisi's going to go right back to work with just a little over a minute left here in round number one, and a great showing so far by Daniel Scatizzi. Right hands, elbows. oh, big piston-like elbows and right hands down the left, ground and pound. Coming down here from the scat man. Yeah, both of these fighters are super young, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's impressive to see. Oh, he's trying to get a hold of that arm, wow. though. Wow. Yeah, Gerard's ground game. One after another, the scat man looking to put away the Jordanian Lion. Most of those punches missed, though. A lot of those, a lot of those punches didn't go all the way through. But he is making Jara work. That is for sure. Nice elbows. Huge elbows. We knew this was going to be a good one. We knew this was going to be a classic. And Skatizi is definitely holding up his end of the bargain. Man. He went to work right off the, as soon as the bell rang, he was all over him. Follow along, hashtag Brave4. All the action on all of our social media. Elbows, nasty elbows coming out from Skatizi. He hasn't cut him yet. He's trying to get that cut. Final seconds here as Skatizi continues to pound away and Al Salawi. And that is it. Someone's so wondering if uh, Jarrah is getting really frustrated, you know, if uh, he's definitely going to his corner going, okay, I need to reset. 100%. Yeah, Jarrah definitely is going to have to reset. I don't think he really wants to get tied up right now. I think he wants to be able to separate and start working that kickboxing that he's so good at. He, I think he has the power advantage in this equation if he can really get it going. Yeah, I mean, he was surprised. I think he wasn't expecting Skatizi to get in there and take him down so fast. 
Gerard right now needs to really respect that takedown now and really work his distance. Keep that jab out, keep those legs out, um, and, and, and don't let him come in close. Stay away from the fence. Good knock, got to do the end. <laughs> no, I agree, I agree. The iPick Arena, man, they're really starting to crowd in here. A nice crowd here in Abu Dhabi. They love some combat sports. And Brave is giving them the best of the best, not just from the Middle East, from all around the world. What, what an incredible place to uh, hold some fights, huh? No, without a doubt, without a doubt. Such a rich history when it comes to combat sports, jiu-jitsu, and... And we are seeing some classics here at Brave 4 Unstoppable. Round two coming at you. Incredible. And here we go. Round two. Skateezy. Right. Al Salawi. Come on. Jarrah needs to get out there and, and keep that face out. Oh, keep the jab out. Ow. Oh. Your little tail sticking out there. <laughs> a little bit of a tail. <laughs> He's a lion, after all. The lion needs to stick it out. Bop, bop. Skateezy, though, moving forward. Not bothered at all. He doesn't no. seem to be too nervous about, about the striking of Al Salawi yet. Of course, I don't think he's really felt much yet. No, absolutely not. I think, I think what Skateezy is doing is letting him kind of overcommit. Gerard overcommit, and he's going to go for that takedown. And if, if Gerard doesn't engage, then he's going he's gonna to bun rush him. Right down the middle comes Al Salawi. We know the type of power that he has. A nice spinning back kick. <laughs> what a solid kick. Gerard. Two young warriors oh, here. Punches there from Gerard. There's that, there's that bun rush right there that we expected from uh, Skatizi. And he's got his hands clasped and he gets the takedown. That's Daniel Skatizi. It's a fairly easy takedown there. That's a bad sign there for Gerard. Yeah, once again, going back to the ground after he spent, you know, the better part of three minutes on the ground in round number one. And he's right back in no man's land in the corner, in his own corner. He's definitely in his own corner. He's, he needs to get up. He needs to push him away. Get those hips up. Go Listening stand to right up. Good. Spread those legs. He needs to spread those legs. Listening to his coaches hips. from Kingdom Fighters here. And nice defense. Those legs nice are underhook. Too close together. He needs to get on one hip up against, the, uh, up against the fence. And he locked those hands together. He could be going for a ride here, Soto. Yeah, I think so. Oh, good cross face there. And a nice takedown inside leg trip. Oh, but there we go. Al Salawi Huge takes the punches. Back. Oh, those that stunned the Skatizi. Skatizi feeling the power of the Jordanian Lion now. Starting to get a little momentum those, is Al Salawi. Salawi's known for those body kicks, too. Oh, and he is hurt. Skatizi has taken some serious shots. He is in his own corner. Al Salawi, though. He's not used to that. There we go. Good job from Gerard, letting him stand up. Those are that body kick that he is known for. Oh, he is feeling it. Using those tattoos as targets. Oh, wow. He's just throwing everything in those leg kicks. Well, he is really beating up the body, isn't he? Wow, oh, he's going he's to going the body. Skatizi throwing everything, and how quickly things could change wow. here at Brave. Good knee. Good knee from Gerard. Excellent fight. The Jordanian Lion. Oh, huge elbow. Can he pound him out here, Soto? This could be it. What an epic comeback this would be if he could put him away. You can hear the crowd roaring for the lion. Now he's trying to get a hold of that arm. Skatizi, though, trying to scramble, trying to cage walk. Let's get those hips up. Use the fence to stand up. Gerard lets him up. He's going right back to that body. Boom. Oh, now to the head. Beautiful shot by Al Salawi. Wow, great combinations from Gerard. Punishing blows by the Jordanian Lion. Great and now he's just manhandling him, Soto. Oh, yeah. Here's the size difference of Gerard. Gerard figured him out. What a great way. He's nice. like a punching bag. Oh, but now, somehow, some way, he gets the takedown. Skatizi. <laughs> Skatizi now gets on top. Whoa. Probably just praying right now, hoping that this round is almost over. 
So while we had his foot there in the cage, Mark Goddard quickly jumped on that. He is all over the place today. That was the best thing that Skatizi could have did. Gives him a little time to recover and rest. And yep. Draw has not shown us a whole lot from his back. Although he did have that quick switch that kind of got all this started. Yep, yep. 30 seconds left here in round number two. And wow, Skatizi was able to survive that. It almost looked like it was going to finish. Um, well, but he's on top right now. He's doing great. Jaran needs to, needs to work on his stand-ups here. A back and forth fight between these two, Skatizi and Al Salawi. He needs to open up that guard and start working for sweeps. It's a good place for Skatizi to finish off the round after taking all that damage, and it could help him to maybe steal round two, even after all that damage. Oh, yeah. Look at that leg on Skatizi. Oh, Jaran's working for some submission. Heel hook. Back in the game. End of round number two, insane. Wow, great action. It looked like Salawi's gonna win that fight. It looks like he was about to put him away, and somehow, some way, Skatizi had enough energy to get that takedown and to stay alive for a few more minutes. Yeah, I got it one to one. What do you got, Cyrus? Yeah, no, I think one to one for sure. Yeah. I, I, I think Al Salawi took round number two. He had a very, very dominant run there for about two, two and a half minutes. Yeah. Skatizi, I think, took round one. So going into the third round, they're going to have to leave it all inside the cage. Who's going to be the brave fighter? It's a good question. <laughs> the I pick arena is the site. And just when you think you've seen the fight of the night, then you see something like this. Two one-sided rounds, pretty impressive. Yeah, this is a great matchup. You know, our matchmaking team, we have Manolo Hernandez, who's matching up those fights. We have uh, Yusuf Nasser, who's bringing in the, uh, the our fighters here hey, as you well. Bring, you bring a couple guys in Man. too, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, these guys are bringing in some of the some of the top athletes out there. And and this is this is what experience brings right here. Absolutely. Here we go. They're going to get the crowd into it. Skatizi playing to the away crowd. And here we go, third and final round in this one. Who has the will to win? Oh, Beautiful. that body kick. Another body kick there. They are solid. Geron needs to calm down here, really pick his, his shots. He has them staggered. There's no reason for him to bum rush him because he he's susceptible to that. Oh, takeout. that left hand. Big left hand by Geron Al Salawi. Good movement from Geron. You're absolutely right. He has to play this game Just right. Be calm. Stay calm. Don't rush in. Yeah, there you go. Back off. Get him frustrated. Don't go straight back. Go lateral. Looking impressive is Al Salawi right now, and he's doing exactly what you're talking See, about. Those are the kind of things he shouldn't be doing. He no fainted. Reason for a spinning for a spinning back kick right there. No, There's you're no absolutely right. It. Now he's gonna have to pay the price for it. He has, he has to quickly scramble. He can't let Skatizi ride out this round as he is gonna have a loss, a decision loss on his record here. Yeah. It's whoever, whoever whoever wins this round. Absolutely. And Skatizi is in the driver's seat right now. But remember, Al Salawi has some submissions on his record. He can put fights away by submission. Now yeah, it's the late. It's the third, third round, you know, going a, go a minute in. The fighters are tired and slippery. It's hard to, it's hard to try to pull out an armbar or a triangle right now. Jarrah should be working and trying to stand up right now. And that's what, looks like that's what he's trying to do. He's, he's gonna have to up. quickly get up, and there he does. He gets his feet underneath him. Excellent job. But Skatizi is quickly trying to drag him back down. It's gonna be frustrating if he can't, and he can't. Let's so Salawi. Let's see if Jarrah can, can actually deliver this time. Stay patient. Throws that big left hand, and now he ends up in the guard. A nice dominant position for Al Salawi. It's a good place to be in for Dra. It leaves him with some more options. He can either get up, he can run this thing on top, or he can continue to do a little ground and pound and ride out the victory. Let's see. Well, Jarrah's on top this time. Jarrah looks at his corner and says, I got this, guys. I got this. Coach, I got this. <laughs> There's a lot of fans out here uh, that traveled all the way from Jordan just to see Salawi fight. That's how popular he is. Yeah, super popular guy here. He's one of the top welterweights. 
And uh, we're going to see the arguably one of the oh, best. Oh, the elbows. And Muhammad Fakhreddin is coming up next. The elbows raining down. Just about two minutes left here in this fight, in this war between Skatizi and El Salawi. Skatizi may have, want to look at a different oh, route huge right now. Punches, wow. I think the best thing for Skatizi at this point is to get up off the ground and maybe try to get another takedown because right now, if he's going to end up on bottom, yeah, that's it, not the key to victory. Absolutely not. It's not that much time left, and uh, this could be Gerard's round. I think it's his round right now. Here comes the hammer fist, those sledgehammer fists. Salawi continues to smother, continues to impose his will. Jiraz, just a big, strong person as well. Oh, he is. He is a monster. Big difference in size and strength. And Skatizi grabs a hold of that ankle. Wow. Skatizi's working on that heel hook. Salawi probably should probably just go right back into it. And then he does. Yeah, I think he lost his train of thought there for a second. Skatizi's kind of, trying to clasp those hands again, Soto. If he can clasp the hands. He could go for a ride. I mean, it, it was an easy, it was an easy takedown. Gerard did not did not uh did not put up much of a fight in those early takedowns. So can he get it, Soto? I'm watching so closely. If he can clasp those hands and if he can somehow get that takedown, he may be able to end up on top, Skatizi. Right now, Gerard doing a great job, and that's the best thing he could do. That is, that is the first time he's been able to do that his entire fight. Right back to the body. Those ribs are going to be aching for days. And there's that kick again. But he left himself open, but he's going to end up on top. Skatizi with the angles. Man. Oh, oh Gerard El Salawi. <laughs> Jeraz uh, was able to adapt now. He's able, he's figured him out. He's, he knows what to do. Stay on top. He may be cruising towards a victory here. We'll right. let the judges do their job. Final seconds. Throwing everything at him. Wow. And that is it. A great fight. What a fight. What a fight between those two folks. We will be back with our official decision. Keep it right here on Brave. Welcome All back right, to Brave. Let's go. Gentlemen, what a war we had tonight with these two fighters. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge one scores it 29 28. Judge two, 29 28. And judge three, 29 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, the Jordanian Lion.